All right, so I've been selling real estate for quite a while and I've had a lot of success with open houses over the years. But one thing I can't stand is trying to figure out how I can get a client to sign in on some raggedy sign in sheet that I printed off of Excel or, you know, to sign in on my book that has a ton of other names on there. You know, that process is kind of getting archaic. It's kind of getting outdated. So today we're going to delve into an essential tool that will simplify your open house management. And that tool is none other than the KV Core open house app. This app has been designed to automatically feed attendees from an electronic sign in sheet directly into your KV Core dashboard. Let me explain. So you've got your open house all set up and you're ready to welcome potential buyers. It's now common practice for security and insurance reasons to have attendees sign in. Now the KV Core open house app makes the process seamless. And even when you don't have any internet connection, the signups will sync to your KV Core dashboard the next time you connect to the internet and open up the app. Getting the app is simple. Just search for Core Open House in the App Store, or if you already have the KV Core app installed, you can access it from there by opening up the menu on the top left, then selecting the Open House option. Now that you have the app downloaded, let's show you how it works. All right, so I have my iPad open to the KV Core Open House app. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put in the MLS number or the street address on the top line where it says create a new open house. Once you have the MLS number or the street address in there, you just wanna select start. Just like that, it brings up the property. You just wanna select confirm to bring up the property. Next, it's gonna give you an option to select the questions that you want to display on the open house form. So for me, of course, I want the name to be displayed. I want the email address to be displayed. I'm gonna to toggle on phone number because I want the um, client to have to put their phone number in there and I want that required. And then it'll say, are you currently working with an agent? I definitely want that toggled on. And then where did you hear about the open house? That's less important to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that off and then I'm gonna select next in the bottom right. From there, you can choose an image. I'm just gonna leave the standard image that it fed in from the MLS here as my background image. Um, I can put on the list price, beds and bathrooms and square footage. I'm okay with all that information. And then I'm gonna select next. Next, it's gonna give me the option to add custom hashtags. However, there's going to be a default hashtag already in here, which is gonna say open house, the MLS number and the date that the client was input into the system. So I typically like to work off of that default hashtag. So I'm not gonna add any other custom hashtags. So I'll just select launch. And now it's gonna have me create that pin. And again, that pin is just there for security purposes so that you can keep the app locked down while you're at the open house. So let me go ahead and select the pin. I'll select one, two, three, four for the purposes of this tutorial. And then I'll select launch. So this is what it looks like. You have a picture of the property off to the left and then off to the right, you see that there's a spot for a potential customer to input their information at the open house. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, it has all of my personal information. So let me just go ahead and I'll put in a fake name just so I can show you guys how this works. We will use the name, um, Bill Smith. Sorry, Bill, I know there's probably a bunch of Bill Smiths out there. And then for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my own email address. And are you working with an agent? No, and I'll select submit. Once the information is submitted, you'll see a picture of me that pops up just to let that consumer know that they are done with the form. And of course, then they can go ahead and continue looking at the house. And then of course the form is gonna restore itself back to this default screen so that the next person can sign in. Okay, so now let's take a look at the actual KV Core smart campaigns. I wanna show you guys what the consumer is going to get as soon as they input their information into your KV Core open house app. All right, so let me just search for the open house smart campaign. And here it is. So let's take, go ahead and take a look at this. It looks like after about four hours, the consumer is going to get a text message from you. Uh, text message is going to say, Corey here. It was a pleasure meeting you at the open house. Feel free to text me here anytime if I can help you in any way. In the meantime, can I set you up for automated property alerts from our site so you don't miss any solid deals? And then on day one, they're going to get an email. Day two, it's going to give you a notification to call the person. Days three and seven, more emails. Day 10, it's going to remind you to call them, so on and so forth. On day 20, they're going to get another uh, text message from you. It's just going to say, 
just checking in to see if you've had a chance to search my website at all. We've got all the listings from MLS and more up-to-date info than you'll find on sites like Zillow. So as you can see, the open house app stays in contact or keeps you in contact with the potential consumer because so many times we go out there with these paper sign-in sheets and we get information and then we never actually follow up with the consumer. So KV Core kind of automates that process for you. It's a fantastic app. It's a fantastic way to stay in front of the consumer. Uh, another thing that you can do is you could just set up your traditional sign-in booklet. And when people input their information into that sign-in booklet, you could then go into the open house app yourself. You could plug in their information and that would automatically put them in a category, uh, your open house category inside your CRM. And it would put them on on this open house smart campaign so that wouldn't be a bad idea either if you found this video helpful be sure to like the video share it with your other realtor friends subscribe do all the things i would love to build a strong community here on youtube where we dive into some of the technology filmmaking uh, content creation and all the other things associated with being a real estate agent thank you guys for watching and i will see you all on the next one